It's time for my motivation minutes of the day. Short and sweet for you here today, my friends. I um, wanted to share a quote with you. I actually tweeted this out uh, last week, and I wanted to give some perspective on it. I just hadn't had uh, an opportunity to do so. So, excuse me. Uh, wanted to uh, wanted to tell you the quote again, um, kind of give some perspective about it, and then uh, just, just a couple other key things I was thinking, and we'll get the hell on out of here. So first things first, my friends. The quote of the day is, the man who loves walking will walk farther than the man who loves the destination. The man who loves walking will work, walk further than the man who loves the destination. And that's not my quote. I heard that from somebody else, and I'm sure they heard that from somebody else because I was watching a podcast when I heard it. And it just resonated so much with me because it's what I talk about all the damn time. In that instance, when they're saying, the man who loves walking, the man who enjoys this current gift that I always talk about, the present moment. That's why it's called the present, because it's a gift. The man who enjoys the gift of this breath right here, right now, is going to walk a lot fucking further than somebody who's worried about the destination. Than somebody who's worried about chasing the bag. Than somebody who's worried only about money. Because I want to get it clear to you. In case you didn't hear me on Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or Monday of last week. If money is the only thing you're focused on or the people around you are focused on, get the fuck from around them. Because I can promise you things are going to go south sooner than later. They are a liability, not an asset, my friends. So I don't know where that came from, but it's something that you need to think about. If you are surrounding yourself with people who are worried about the destination, people who are worried about what they look like, people who are worried about the Lambo, the Ferrari, people who are worried about, oh, I got seven zeros in my fucking bank account, but I'm miserable as shit at the end of the day. If that is who you are surrounded with, I suggest you take time to take a step back. And maybe two, three steps back. Maybe stop going to VIP bottle service if you're miserable in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe you don't have to go out and flaunt it like you don't got it every damn Saturday if you're dragging your damn knuckles and you wake up with a fucking pit in your stomach Monday through Friday. Because really, what are you doing? You're just pushing that down. You're pushing that farther. And you're never growing as a human being. You're staying in the consistent persistent bullshit rut that so many people stay in the day-to-day -day rat race because they're only concerned with the fucking destination and guess what when you're only concerned about the destination you're just gonna keep going around that fucking wheel and it's never gonna be good enough it's never gonna be satisfying enough it's never gonna be your best life and guess what I talk about that in some other perspectives though on the other side when you start enjoying the walk the day-to-day -day journey, the process over the product, right? When you start to enjoy that, then it really isn't enough. You want to become a better version of yourself every single day. You look in the past at who you were and said, how in the hell did I even survive this life as that person? And it's okay to look back at that person because then you realize where you are and then you even take more stock of where you want to be. Because if you worry about who you are, where you were, where you're at, where you're going, I can promise you that you want to beat yourself every day. Nobody else will fucking matter. None of those fucking Lambos will matter. None of the fucking peers in your industry will matter. None of the haters will matter. It's just the person looking you in the mirror every single day. That's what's going to matter because I'm speaking from experience. I have tapped into this all I want to do is beat myself every day. I want to be a better version of myself than I was yesterday, not try and compare myself to some who else somebody else is today. I don't care about them because their thoughts aren't my thoughts. Their heart's not my thought or the heart. My their soul is not my soul, right? So why would I try and worry about that person? Why would I try and make that person do what I want to do or make that person think the way I want to think? Forget it. Stop worrying about it. Stop wasting your life on those people because guess what? The sooner that you just start worrying about yourself, everything starts working out. You get the inside right and the outside follows along. And is it easy? 
Fuck no, I'd be lying to you straight through my doggone teeth if I told you this, this whole being in the present moment, staying conscious, uh, enjoying the walk, enjoying the process over the prod product. No, it ain't easy. No. And sorry if I do make it easy, make it look easy from time to time. I hope I don't because it ain't. It takes a lot of work. I'm a human being. I'm going to sit here. I'm never going to tell you. I am never going to be the pot calling the kettle black. Because I still make mistakes. I still make fuck-ups. I still hit bumps in the road that sometimes I don't know how to, to, how to handle. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter how many times you fall down. It just matters if you can dust yourself off, rip one on the chin, and take it again. That's all that matters, baby. And what I'll tell you, shout out my man Duncan Rogoff. There is three things that I want you to focus on here today. If you are in this hallway right now, and you're hearing my voice, you're hearing these words, you're saying, son of a bitch, Colt's on one today, I'm listening to him, but I don't know how to keep pushing, I'm ready to give up, practice these three things, be persistent, be consistent, and just have a little patience, and I promise you, everything you hold in your heart, every future gift that you want, will come into your life, just stay here, stay here, and realize that all of those things are coming. And maybe at the same time, here's three more things you can also practice. Have a little delusion that you're the best motherfucker out there that's already doing it. You're a millionaire. They just ain't paid you yet. Stay humble. But have that delusion. Because you got to believe in yourself. Tiger Woods, when asked Tiger Woods or Jack Nicholas, he said Tiger Woods. You better believe me. I got to believe in myself. I'm going to be that guy. You're damn right. You should have that delusion, period. That persistence, huge, 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 huge. You have to persist. When the waves are crashing over the boat or when the damn sun is shining and you're out on a dock catching a nice tan, you have to persist. It does not matter. Keep going. And finally, even when those waves are crashing, even when that sun's shining, just show a little gratitude. And even if you can only wake up in the morning and say, I'm grateful that I opened my two gifts this morning. I'm grateful that I got another breath of life. Then you're doing the right thing. If that's the only thing you can be grateful for, then you're doing a lot better than the rest of the population. So my friends, went down a whole bunch of rabbit holes there. It was all over the map. Not my words. I've always said this. You know where I stand. My creator's words. That's all God. That's all. If you're not a religious person, that's okay. But I would not be where I am without my God. Period. And if you want to start to enjoy the walk, if you want to enjoy the day to day while there's flaming arrows coming across the battlefield at you left, right, and center, if you want to enjoy that day to day, I suggest you try and find that relationship. And it doesn't have to be the same as mine, but I suggest you try and find that relationship because then you'll realize that the man who loves walking will walk much further than the man who loves the destination. And that does it for my Motivation Minutes of the day.